either. I wanted to do something good for the world. Work for peace, end pollution, help a good cause. Now all I want to do is get the guy who gave Sean and all their own show. <laughs> then I'll worry about the bomb. I told Bing Crosby to record White Christmas. Can I get any credit for that? <laughs> I was the one who said to Alex Haley, did you ever wonder where you came from? <laughs> Not a single phone call. I told the four lads from Liverpool, why don't you call yourselves the Beatles? <laughs> did anyone say thank you? <laughs> but one day, one day, I talked the network into giving Sean on our their own television show. <laughs> now I'm famous. Stars Adrian Marco and Dr. Joyce Brothers. Now, here they are, all greased up and ready to sing their brains out. Sean, na, na. Go get the Rockies, man, yellow This is having the distinct pleasure of sitting back, relaxing, and watching a fabulous... The, uh... You're, you're having the distinct pleasure of watching your laundry is ready. So, um, you sit back and relax and watch... Your laundry is ready, and I'll go pick up my Shana now. What can I say to you that will make you come to the dance with me? Tell me you got a gun pointed at my face. I never thought of that. It's the biggest hand I ever saw. You remember me? I'm the cab driver with a million jokes. I'm a <laughs> All right, the cab driver with a hundred jokes. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Look, a poor guy with a couple of gags. Is that <laughs> Loosen up, you guys. Loosen up. You've been out on parole for at least, what, ten minutes now? <laughs> hey, here, I'll make you feel right at home. Okay. All privileges is suspended. <laughs> Right, only kidding, only kidding. Okay. What would life be without a few jokes, right? Yeah. You should know. <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, that's what I get for coming across the river to entertain our thugs from overseas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, seriously, guys, this is your lucky day. I brought you as a celebrity. Yeah. Now, wait a second, Harvey. You mean celebrities ride in your lousy cab? Yeah. You ever heard of the bionic woman? Sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Just this morning, I drove her electrician to the airport. <laughs> All right, boys, here she is. One of the stars of the TV show, Maud. She, and when I say she, I mean she, Miss Adrienne Barbo. Hey, it's a real 
thrilled to have you on our show, right, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. But really, I've got to tell you, mm. I am here because I was interested in finding out if you guys are as awful as everybody says you are. He hey. is even awfuler with a capital. Oh. Oh. Myself. Everybody that goes on that show insults those guys. Sure. Abuses yeah, that's true. them. Yeah. Calls yeah. them names. Yeah. 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 Well, we do bring out the best in people. <laughs> that's right. We're the only group in history that got beat up by the Peace Corps. <laughs> great idea. I am going to do something that will make history. I am going to set the world's record for not insulting you. Hey. Okay. Really, really, no, really. I read in the World Book of Records that J.P. Goodwin of Portland, Oregon, talked for 36 seconds without insulting Sean yeah. on yeah, yeah. I can beat them. I can beat them. You do so? really? Records are made to be broken. Right. We'll leave our music out of this, huh? Hey. 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 Hold the stopwatch. I'm okay. going for the biggie. Okay, okay, okay. okay. All right, Adrian. You ready? Building. Get set. Go. Come on. I see you guys as good, clean-cut, <laughs> young men with wonderful personalities. Fine, upstanding citizens who I am proud to know. How much time have I got left? You still got 10 seconds left. I don't know. I've got this urge to insult you. Come on, come on. I know, I know, I know. I'll sing to you. Sing, 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 sing. You have the cool, clear eyes of a seeker of wisdom and truth. I believe in you. Come on. This urge, this this craving, this, this uncontrolled. Just keep going, keep going. Oh, keep going. Oh, you. Right. Keep oh going. guys, I'm sorry. You are greasy. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, go ahead. Oh, yeah. All right. Let it out, Oh, it feels so much better. Thank you. Oh, thanks, guys. I needed that. Well, you did your best. You almost broke the world's record. How much time did I have left? Three seconds. Uh, well, J.P. Goodwin of Portland, Oregon, your record still stands. <laughs> Taxi! Bye, you creeping cruds. No! who makes the hit record, but here's what I do. I get a little beat. And then I get a little song. Oh, yeah. And then I get a little group.
hit record. with one leg named Modus. Tell me, what's the name of his other leg? <laughs> Stinks. In my wildest dreams, I never thought a girl like you would be interested in a guy like me. I've always had lousy taste. Oh, sorry, Julie, but I must finish the... Back in 20... Hairstyles on tonight's show were greased and oiled at Ernie's all-night garage. <laughs> Boy, I wish you'd get here already. This a waste of time. We ain't crazy. Hey, look. A little therapy never hurt nobody, you know? It helps to know how your mind works. Chico's mind doesn't work. It was laid off when he was born. <laughs> with one of my patients. Mm. Oh, yeah? What's wrong? He thinks he's Donald Duck. Wow! Poor guy! Yeah, I was all over town trying to buy a large sailor suit. Bowser, do you want to start? Okay. Okay, Doc. See, I got these feelings that I'm not getting anywhere in life. You know what I mean? Like, I'm a failure. No. Oh, Bowser, you're finally getting to the truth. <laughs> I sometimes think that maybe I'm possessed. Don't worry, with your credit, you'll be repossessed. <laughs> well, well, lately I've been having these strange dreams. Yeah. And last night I dreamt that I was eating spaghetti. Yeah. And when I woke up, the string to my jammies was missing. Oh, I'm afraid you have a little bit of neurosis compounded with extreme verbal paranoia. What does that mean? You tell old jokes. <laughs> well, some, sometimes I get very, very tense. Take and I want to reach out and I want to grab something. Easy time. And I want to smash it into little pieces. <laughs> oh, stop listening to your records. <laughs> well, sometimes I feel like I'm bigger than anyone else. Like I'm the greatest. And like all the other people is ants. All the other people are ants. <laughs> See? I was right. <laughs> Lenny, I want to check on you to see if you're normal. Lenny, how many fingers do I have up? Come on, Lenny. Come on, Lenny. Lenny. Well, I, I really have to go, fellas. I see you. Thank you, Joyce. Thank you, Joyce. Thank you, Joyce. Oh, oh, by the way, when you have an irresistible urge to sing, do what Marcel Marceau would do. But nobody could hear Marcel Marceau. You got it.
Cheapest, what a crime. <laughs> Mr. Pittman, <laughs> I know you don't like our group, but I personally want to thank you for not making fun of overweight people. Just yesterday, Bowser said I was as big as a house. Boy, Leonard, that's nonsense. <laughs> You're an entire village. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> appearing soon in their first U.S. Army training film entitled, So What If I Do Come Down With Shana Na? Should I call a doctor or a mechanic? We want to thank all you people out there for watching our humble rumble. <laughs> and I want to thank our special guest stars, Adrienne Barbeau and Dr. Joyce Brothers, the world's greatest shrink. Yeah. 
You know, I think anyone who comes on this show ought to have his head examined. Right. <laughs> You say you want to voice your disapproval of this show. <laughs> well, you'll just have to take a ticket and stand in line like the rest of us. See you next week. Grease for peace. <laughs>